सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स द ऑडियो बुक जॉयफुल टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास वन पेज नंबर थर्टी थ्री चैप्टर फोर मेकिंग टेन डॉटी बग एंड हर डिजाइन्स हैव यू ऑब्जर्व अ लेडी बग she has dots on her body have you ever counted the dots there is a picture of a ladybug given here a write the number of dots you see on the bug here on page number 33 there are four different pictures of a ladybug in each picture there are different number of dots on the back of the ladybug count the number of dots and write inside the boxes given below b make some dot designs with objects like tamarind seeds pebbles buttons bindis etc and count the number of dots in each arrangement here on the right hand side we have few arrangements of dots given you have to count the number of dots page number 34 c identify and write the numbers formed by the arrangement of the red bindis here on page number 34 there is a picture given of the arrangements made by red bindis let us play d play with your friend roll the dice and color the box with same number of dots as you get on the dice take turns with your friend and roll again choose the color and mark it with crayon my color blank box friend's color blank box here we have a table the faces of dice have been given inside a square box the square has been divided into 25 parts the numbers are as follows row 1 2 4 3 5 6 row 2 4 6 3 1 2 row 3 2 1 3 5 6 row 4 6 2 3 Four, three. Row five, six, one, two, three, four. The child with more number of colored boxes will win. Use the dot and color flashcards to help children gain instant recognition of numbers without counting. This is called subitization. make more cards with dot patterns of numbers 1 to 9 in different designs and sizes as required page number 35 vanishing buttons gola monkey wears his favorite shirt with four buttons he went to the garden and ate too many bananas as he was fond of them what do you think happened then one of the buttons popped out and rolled away but he cannot dream of giving up bananas and he keeps on losing all the buttons one by one here we have five pictures of gola monkey in the first picture he has four buttons second picture he has three buttons third picture he has two buttons fourth picture he has one button fifth picture he has zero buttons and his shirt is open in the blank box given you have to write the number of buttons in numerical form discuss about numbers of buttons left in the shirt at the end ask children to name objects things around them whose number is zero Let children understand that zero is also a number like one, two, and other numbers. 
Discuss with children about the benefits of balanced diet and ill effects of overeating. Page number 36. Write the number of birds sitting on the branch of the tree. There are four pictures given here. In each picture, there is a specific number of birds which are sitting on the branch of the tree. In the blank circle, you have to write that number in numerical form. Write zero. Here on page number 36, there are 20 boxes given. In the first box, number zero is written. In the next 11 boxes, number zero is written with the help of dots. You have to write zero following the same process. Think and tell. A. How many suns do you see in the night? B. How many moons do you see at noon? Use concrete objects to demonstrate the idea of zero by reducing one object each time. Discuss situations where something is absent and its number is called as zero, like there are zero buses in the classroom. Also, encourage children to count backwards from 5 to 0 initially and later from 9 to 0. Page number 37 10th birthday It is Astha's 10th birthday. Her father prepared halwa for her. She is celebrating her birthday with her friends. Here, in the picture, we can observe Astha's father who has made halwa for her. Astha has a gift in her hand. Few children are standing next to her and clapping. Astha says, I was 9 years old and after one more year, I become 10 year old. So, 9 and 1 more makes 10. There are two hands given here. The fingers indicate the number 10. She has lighted blank diyas on her birthday. You have to count the number of diyas given in the picture and write that number here. Count and write the number of objects in the box. Here on page number 37, there are five different pictures of five different children holding different objects in their hand. In the first picture, a girl is holding string of beads. In the second picture, a boy is holding a sweet box. In the third picture, a boy is holding a crayon box. In the fourth picture, a girl is holding a plate of bananas. In the fifth picture, a boy is holding some leaves. Below these pictures, there are five different blank boxes given to write the exact number of objects. Page number 38. Let us do. A. Count and draw beads to make a string of 10 beads. 1. In this picture, we have 6 beads on a string. 2. Here, we have 7 beads on a string. 3. Here, we have 4 beads on a string. 4. Here, we have two beads on a string. B. Draw buttons to make a 10 frame of buttons. Here on page number 38, there are four different pictures of four different frames. In the first picture, there are three buttons in a frame. In the second picture, there are six buttons in a frame. In the third picture, there are two buttons in the frame. And in the fourth picture, there is only one button in the frame. Page number 39. The handy 5 and 10. Follow the pattern and write the number pairs separated by the stick. Here on page number 39, a diagram has been given, which is divided into two parts. On the left hand, there are five objects given. One object is being separated with the help of a stick. 1 and 4 Again on the left side, 
there are five objects given. Two objects are being separated with the help of a stick. Blank and blank. Again on the left side, there are five objects given. Two objects are being separated on the right side with the help of a stick. Blank and blank. Again, there are five objects given on the left side. One object is being separated with the help of a stick on the right side. Blank and blank. Again, on the left side, there are five objects given and the stick is placed at the end of all these five objects. Blank and blank. Let us play. Show three fingers. Your friend has to show some fingers to make five. Page number 40. Number pairs of 10. Let us play the finger game with our both hands. A child will show some fingers. The other child has to show the other fingers that are folded. Follow the pattern and write the number pairs in the given table. In the first row, we have one finger and nine fingers, which gives us ten fingers. In the second row, we have two fingers and eight fingers, which also gives us ten fingers. In third row, we have three fingers and seven fingers, which gives us ten fingers. In fourth row, we have four fingers and six fingers, which gives us ten fingers. In the last row, we have five fingers and five fingers which gives us 10 fingers. Page number 41. Let us play a card game. Number cards. Set of 0 to 10. Keep all cards face down. One child picks up a card and places it face up. The other child picks up another card and keeps it face up. If the pair of cards make 10, then the second student takes both the cards. The turn goes back to the first student who will pick up another card. Counting up to 20. Simran lives in Nagpur. She is helping her father in packing oranges. A box can hold 10 oranges. Let us count the number of oranges. On the left side, we have 10 oranges. So, in numerical form, we have written 10. And also, in word form, we have written 10. In the second row, we have 11 oranges. So, we have written 10 and 1 is, which gives us 11, which we have written in numerical form and word form. In the third row, we have 12 oranges, which gives us 10 and 2 is, which we have written 12 in numerical form and in word form. Have a discussion to help children to understand and remember the number partitions of 5 and 10. For example, if the teacher says 2, the child should respond 3. When doing partitions of 5. Similarly, if the teacher says 4, the child should respond 6. When doing partitions of 10. This is the time when children start counting beyond 10. Draw attention towards the fact that there is always a number, one more than the previous number. Page number 42. On the left hand side, we have 10 oranges in one box and three oranges in the other box, which gives us 10 and 3 is. That is why we have written 13 in numerical and word form. In the next row, we have 10 oranges in the first box and 4 oranges in the second box, which gives us 10 and 4 is. That is why we have written 
14 in numerical and word form. In the next row, we have 10 oranges in first box and 5 oranges in second box, which gives us 10 and 5 is, which we have written as 15 in numerical and word form. In the next row, we have 10 oranges in first box and 6 oranges in the next box, which is 10 and 6 is, which gives us 16 in numerical and word form. In the next row, we have 10 oranges in first box and 7 oranges in the next box, which gives us 10 and 7 is, which we have written as 17 in word and numerical form. In the next row, we have 10 oranges in first box and 8 oranges in next box, which is 10 and 8 is. We have written this as 18 in numerical and word form. In the next row, we have 10 oranges in first box and 9 oranges in second box, which is 10 and 9 is. We have written this as 19 in numerical and word form. In the last row, we have 10 oranges in both the boxes, which is 10 and 10 is and we get the answer as 20, which we have written as 20 in numerical and word form. Page number 43. Write the numbers 11 to 20. Here on page number 43, there is a square box given, divided into 70 parts. In the first 10 boxes, there are numbers written 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Now you have to write another numbers in sequence in the blank boxes given. Help the children to count concrete objects up to 20 using groups of 10 and units. Give them a handful of seeds or buttons not more than 20. Ask them to guess the number first, then group and count. How close was the guess? Let children reason out the basis for their guesses. Page number 44. Count and write. A. Count and write the answers. Here on page number 44, there are two different pictures given. On the left side, there is a picture of a bunch of sticks, where there are 10 sticks and also there are 8 separate sticks given. Now you have to count all these sticks and write inside the circle. On the right side, inside the box, there are 10 leaves given on the left side. And on the right side, there are 3 separate leaves given. You have to count and write the numbers of leaves inside the circle. B. Color the tens frames to show the number. Here, the number 14 is given. Next to it, two frames have been given. The frames have been divided into 10 parts. The first frame has been colored completely. In the second frame, we have only covered 4 squares, which gives us the number 14. You have to solve for the other numbers in a similar manner. The next number is 19. The last number is 16. C. Write down the numbers in sequence. Here on page number 44, there is a frame given divided into 20 parts. The number of sequence given here is 1 blank, 3 blank, 8 blank, 6 blank, 9 blank, blank, 12 blank, 15 blank, 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 20. Page number 45. D. Encircle a group of 10 and match with the number. Here we have two columns. On the left hand side, we have picture 1 has 
ten flowers. Picture two has seventeen beads. Picture three has sixteen buttons, and picture four has twenty leaves. On the right hand side, we have the numbers seventeen, sixteen, twenty, and ten. You have to match according to the number of objects. E. A group of friends while playing built some towers. Here on page number forty-five, there is a picture of two kids trying to play build some towers. In the first picture, there are seven blocks. In the second picture, there are nine blocks. In the third picture, there are four blocks. In the fifth picture, there are eight blocks. One, take right the tallest tower. Two, which tower used the most number of blocks? Write the number of blocks used in it. Blank. Three. Which tower used the least number of blocks? Write the number of blocks used in it. Blank. Page number forty-six. Let us do. A. Circle the smallest number. One. Eight. Twelve. Six. Two. Fourteen. Eleven, nineteen. B. Circle the biggest number. One, sixteen, nineteen, eleven. Two, eleven, seventeen, nine. C. Find the numbers hidden under the paw. One. Blank, fifteen, sixteen, blank. Eighteen, two, blank, twelve, blank, fourteen, fifteen, three, fifteen, blank, 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 nineteen, four, thirteen, blank, fifteen, blank, blank. D. Write the numbers from the biggest to the smallest. Eleven, three, sixteen, twenty, thirteen, nine. There are six different blank boxes given here to write the numbers from the biggest to the smallest. Let children find out their ways to decide which number is bigger. Ask them why have they decided so. The children must understand that fifteen is bigger than eleven because it is. Four more than eleven, and similarly for other numbers up to twenty. Page number forty-seven. E. Let us count and write. Here on page number forty-seven, there is a picture of some blocks and a kite with dots given. One. Number of blocks. Blank. Two. Number of white dots blank. F. Join the numbers from one to twenty. Here, numbers from one to twenty have been given. You have to join them in the right sequence. Is it an animal or bird? Blank. Project work. A. Find out things from your surroundings that are in the group of ten. For example, bindi cards having bindis in the group of ten. B. Ask children to make their own number cards ten to twenty. They can use old cardboards, waste material, etc. Encourage children to recognize the group of ten while counting objects. Beyond ten. You were just listening to this audio book, Joyful. Narrators: Akash Ahuja and Shalini Singh. Technical coordinator: Butelang Lingdo. Sound recordist: Vikas Sangwan. Production assistants: Soumya Malik. Produced and directed by. Vimlesh Chaudhary presented by 
C I E T N C E R T New Delhi India